Till Confucius family tree is the longest recorded extant pedigree in the world. There are two million registered modern descendants, with major branches in Korea, where his family was invited by the Goryeo dynasty in 1351, and Taiwan, where family members fled during the Chinese Civil War. Confucius says if you run in front of a car you'll get tired, if you run behind a car you'll get exhausted. Including my brother-in-law. He makes a big deal about it. I'm not surprised Confucius has so many descendants. The dude had the most amazing pickup lines at bars. I can't understand how they can rule out that people at that time claiming to be Confucius descendants were scammers. How can you trace lineage over 1,500 years when the ability to prove it has only been possible for last 40 years? It's possible that everyone you'll ever meet is a descendant of Confucius, and of many other people alive at the time of Confucius. Confucius lived 2,500 years ago, but estimates of the most recent common ancestor, https colon slash slash en m wikipedia org slash wiki slash most underscore recent underscore common underscore ancestor of all living humans may have lived as recently as 2300 years ago and likely in asia other estimates have come up with 3000 to 7000 years ago we're all familiar with compounding interest and people's descendants act the same way when they have more than two kids after only 25 generations, 650 years, of having two, five kids, any given person will have over 8 billion descendant lines, although many of these will he repeats of the same individual. This Quora page, https colon slash slash www.quora.com slash how many descendants would the average Roman peasant have alive today? gives a good example of how a random schmuck from 1600 years ago probably has about 5 billion descendants alive today. 5 billion. I went to high school in Taipei with a Confucius descendant. Didn't know her personally, though. That would be a hell of a family reunion. I've played enough Crusader Kings to know half of them are probably illegitimate. You can now reserve your spot in the famed UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Cemetery of Confucius, https colon slash slash en wikipedia, org slash wiki slash cemetery underscore of underscore Confucius, for a generous donation. Successful descendants only. Losers need not apply. Confucius say man with hand in pocket feel cocky. Genghis Khan would like a word. Confucius or Confuci has a courtesy name, Zongni. So people in Taiwan and China always jokes that his English name is Johnny Kong. Major branches in Korea, where his family was invited by the Goryeo dynasty. Taiwan, where family members fled during the Chinese Civil War. Bruh you're making it sound like they spread a disease. Yes yeah, so they went there once and it started spreading. Confucius says, good to meet woman in park, but better to park meet in woman. That guy got around. It's a toss-up with King David. The Davidian line is meticulously kept by Jews since it's the Messianic lineage. Also the lineage of Zadok and the Zedekite priests. The chief Sephardi rabbi of Israel is a Zedekite priest today, and quite an asshole but that's for another thread. The tribe of Levites for sure predates that and lineal descent is proved through the genetic hallmarks of the Kohen, priestly, gene. They are the descendants of Aaron. I wonder if I'm related to Confucius. Confucius say, large family tree have many roots. Including a soon to be real housewife of Beverly Hills haha. There was an interview with one of the Taiwanese descendants of Confucius. He was a practicing Buddhist, and he knew of his ancestry, but didn't think much of it beyond reminding his children to uphold some of the main Confucian virtues. I think he's an electronics engineer, or something like that just a regular working guy. Keep in mind, by this many generations, Confucius's genetic impact is probably more diluted than Elizabeth Warren's Native American heredity. Very interesting topic. The Koreans with Confucius ancestry come from the Gokbyugong clan and apparently there are around 74,135 people in this clan. The progenitor was Kong Shao who came over from China in 1351 and was a mentor-slash-escort of Queen Indiak, 
a Mongolian princess married to King Gongmen of the Goraio dynasty. HTTPS colon slash slash en M Wikipedia org slash wiki slash gokbu underscore gong underscore clan Perhaps invited is the diplomatic word to use because the alternative to refusing a Mongolian invitation was usually genocide. Till a shitload of people still make Confucius say jokes. Sorry that your cool fact got the attention of the shit flingers. Confucius slay. Confucius a real nigga. Confucius lived 2,500 years, or more than 80 generations, ago. If each generation averaged two children you would expect more than a trillion trillion descendants. The tree goes like 81 generations, correct? HTTPS colon slash slash you do, b slash vjbkuk 4 jmhe Huh, I figured Tansen would be but this is news to me. Cool. The descendants of the Genghis Khan family translates to zero. 5% of the male population in the world, or roughly 16 million descendants living today. Imagine adding in the female descendants. Kind of amazing. What about the Kohanim? Every time when you meet someone and he or she says hi my name is Kong, WTF are you related to Confucius? Which generation are you? You must be very rich. Etc etc. Jesus, time for bed. I read far too long with a mental image of a totally different type of tree in mind. Pretty confused wondering why people would take seedlings with them, when running away in a civil war. Just searched about this. What a coincidence. I recently learned that something similar happened with Ali's, Muhammad's cousin and the most important person in Shia Islam, descendants. My best friend is one. HTTPS colon slash slash you do, b slash 15 os 4 fg 4 r 0 This is about Europeans and their links to royalty but I assume the same applies in this case. Basically you're related to everyone after a certain amount of generations. Please take what is said in the video with a grain of salt but opened my eyes to how genetics connects us more than we think. I mean. Can't verify clearly, but isn't there a section in one of the gospels where the writer just goes okay, just to make sure you're on top of things, here's Jesus entire family tree from Joseph slash Mary to Adam and Eve. Cause if so, that's pretty big, amazing. And we all know that. Confucius say, man who goes to sleep with itchy bum, wakes up with stinky finger. What a confusing family tree. Why does Confucius have English name? Why not call him by his real Chinese name? Cringe AF. Homie got it in all over the world. Family trees are racist. Man with hand in pocket feels cocky all day. One of his descendants is going to be a real housewives of Beverly Hills. And if you go back far enough we all come from fish, it's shit like this that makes an us vs them world. What separates a royal from a commoner other than the luck of being born in one family or another? I thought the longest recorded family tree was the Japanese imperial family. Man pedigree is dog food. Confucius says Korean chicks are easy. Surely we're all his direct descendants, right? Confucius died 2500 years ago. Even if we use a conservative estimate for average birth rate, say two children per descendant, the number of descendants today would be 1, 267, 650, 600, 228, 229, 401, 496, 703, 205, 376. That's 1 nonillion, 267 octillion, 650 septillion, 600 sextillion, 228 quintillion, 229 quadrillion, 401 trillion, 496 billion, 703 million, 205,376. Obviously there is a lot of incest going on. Genghis Khan has an estimated 16 million male descendants today according to National Geographic. I guess they're not recorded. Kind of relevant XKCD https colon slash slash xkcd com slash 1545 slash when i lived in taipei i was invited to the teacher's day ceremony held by the official confucius descendant it was really cool 
Westerners often forget that Confucianism is a religion, not just a philosophy.